Hey guys, welcome back to another speed build. I know this build is kind of released at a weird time, especially because I recently released another build video, but this video kind of has a background story to it and I am going to tell you guys it. So, hey guys, welcome back to another build video. In this video, I am basically going to be building a puzzle themed house which i can explain it sounds very weird and it was very it was actually very cool to do because i didn't actually think that it would turn out as something that i was actually really proud of um i do love this build a lot and basically the only reason why i did this was that there's a bit of a backstory to it actually and i just had a bit of a rough day it was really bad i was quite upset about it and I just wanted something to cheer me up and the best way I knew that was to take my emotions and build something in The Sims and that sounds actually very odd because as you'll see in a second I made this build very rainbow colored and it's kind of weird to say that I had kind of an off day and then I built something very rainbow um, but in all honesty I think I did that subconsciously because my one friend likes rainbows a lot i did the rainbow house um based off of him and i don't know maybe i was keeping him in the mind the whole time because he's able to cheer me up but basically this is what i ended up with and what actually happened was that i wanted to put my energy into basically making something um whether it was like a cast thing or a build thing and the thing i had in mind made sense more of something to be in december and it didn't make a lot of sense for me to try and do that now in January. So if I remember, I'll come back to it in December. But, you know, knowing me, I'll probably forget. And basically, knowing that it would be kind of weird for me to do this thing, I went on Google. And I think I searched something like, what holidays are in January? And I found this page. And <laughs> this page had the weirdest things that I have never heard of in my life. I just want to say now that I don't know if any of these were true. Like, it could have just been somebody writing an article, or it could be very true, and I'm just, like, oblivious to the fact that these holidays exist. But, basically, tomorrow, which is the 29th, as of when I'm recording this, that is International Puzzle Day. And that is basically what I read. Again, I've never heard this before. But, basically, it said it was Puzzle Appreciation Day, and I got really inspired to do a puzzle piece themed build. So this house is divided into four sections. You get the kitchen, which we are busy doing now, uh, the bedroom, the study, and the lounge. And I think the bathroom is in the study. So it's very awkward to get around if you actually are going to play a family in this house. It's just kind of awkward to do things, but I, th I think it looks very cool. Um, in all fairness, I wasn't really building this to be functional. It was more just like to calm down and just to focus on something else to make me feel better. And I will say that I feel a lot better than I did earlier before I did this build. Um, I was actually quite upset, but I've managed to calm down now. And I did this whole build literally today. Like today I got the disappointing news. I think it was... Um, probably after 12 I'm not sure the exact timing maybe it was one o'clock I'm not too sure and right now it's like 10, 10 at night which isn't a good thing because I do have school tomorrow but yeah I basically managed to build this house in a day to do the editing in a day I'm hopefully going to finish the voiceover today and I don't actually know if I'm going to post it today either today or tomorrow I I'm going to try and post it tonight um, just because tomorrow I do have school and I need to focus on that so I'm not too sure if I'll get a chance tomorrow so happy puzzle appreciation day for tomorrow if I do post this today which I've said today a lot and I apologize for that but over here we have the study and it was actually really funny for me because I'm here doing everything like rainbow colors everything's happy and if you saw above the keyboard i put a picture of sunny the sad clown over there and basically that was just me bringing my inner emotions out because at this stage 
I'm still being super overly dramatic. I do do that, I will admit. And I'm still being very upset. And I was just like, this picture describes me perfectly, like the way I'm feeling. So I had to put that somewhere. Um, but, you know, after I did that, I had like a good laugh about it. I'm like, haha, that clown poster represents me. And then I was just like, yay, back to the pretty rainbow colors and feeling better. Um, I'm really sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. We just had a bit of rain, um, which is also the reason why this is my second voiceover. You couldn't really hear it the first time properly. And basically, my dog just has a bit of a fear of thunder and lightning. So if you hear him barking, it's just because he's scared and we do try to calm him down, but it's just very difficult sometimes. But anyway, back to the video. Over here, we are busy doing the bathroom. I like the way it turned out. Um, I don't know, it felt... It was actually very hard for me to do a lot of things in these rooms because of all the indents to try and make it look like puzzle pieces, but... I think I made it work. When we come back to the lounge area, I will just tell you how annoying it was for me to try and work with that. Over there, you can see that we have a yellow and green bed with the blue end table and a purple dresser and a red lamp. So you can definitely tell the colors are a bit mixed up. It's not exactly following any specific order, which I did like the way it looked in the end. Over here, we have the living space area, and as you can see, those indents were frustrating me to no end. They were just very difficult to work with, and after a while, I gave up, and I think two of the spaces, I basically just put a wall in between it to make it more of a box shape. One I've already done, as you can see, and basically behind the couch, we do the same thing, and we just move that table and flowers to the side. So... Over there, we are putting in the wall because I could not handle that dent. It was just really awkward to work with, so I made a new plan. I am so sorry for the way this audio is kind of jumping around a bit. Because of the rain, my dog was barking a lot and near the end of the recording, it just got really worse. So I just kind of had to stop recording and I came back, which might be why I'm sounding a little bit different. I don't know if I am, but if I am, that's the reason. <laughs> Um, because this is kind of like the fourth time I'm recording this, so it's kind of weird. I just chopping and changing a bit, so I'm sorry if this is all over the place. I just really want to get this out, um, on or before Puzzle Appreciation Day because I feel like it's something that should be celebrated because I've never heard of it before and it's real, which was actually very surprising. Um, but back to the build. Over here, we are just doing very minimal landscaping because, to be honest, I didn't want the landscaping to take a lot away from the build because the main theme was it of being of a puzzle theme nature. So I didn't do too much to it. I just did like a couple things that I thought would make it look a bit better but wouldn't change the entire thing. And also, there's no windows in this build, which I don't think I mentioned before. And basically, it just kind of ruined the way it looked. So that's kind of why I put in those sky roofs because that brings in a lot of the natural light. So I know it looks very weird that there's no windows, but it does suit the build a lot more. And at the end of the screenshots, you are going to see a sim that is sitting basically in the pool. And that was just kind of a shout out to my friend, seeing as I did have him in mind while I was doing the rainbow part of this build. So it's basically he's some that's sitting in the pool, just as a little shout out. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this build, please remember to leave a like, comment down below for what build you want to see me do next, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!